All right, let's have a look at uh, some of the settings that we've made on the VRC 700. Um, so if we go into the menu, we need to scroll down till we see installer level. Punch in the installer code, go to system configuration, and this is where we can set up our three heating zones for our three separate loops. Um, so this uh, system config page will give you lots of different bits of information. Uh, things like the current pressure of the system, whether the boiler has been called for or not at the moment. Um, it allows you to select something called the system diagram and you'll set this depending on what um, valent modules you've got in your system. Heat generator, that's our boiler. You see it's currently in heat mode which means heat has been called for off from somewhere. Uh, and now we've got heating one, two and three. So these are our three uh, heating circuits. Um, we've got an option here to choose what type of circuit it is, is hot water, heating, etc., or whether it's not been used at all, inactive. So type of circuit for heating one is heating. And these are the radiators across the entire house. Uh, and each radiator has uh, one of the Ambisense TRVs on. So we'll have a look at that in a moment. You see at the moment, um, none of these are calling for heat. They're all satisfied. So all of the rooms are up to temperature. The TRVs have detected this, and so none of them are calling for heat via this controller. Uh, if we just scroll down to heating two, just give it a moment to update. Again, this is a heating circuit, and this one is calling for heat. So this relates to the second heating loop. This is our underfloor heating in the extension. So at the moment, uh, the heat miser thermostats that we've got speaking with the UH8 wiring centre, they're calling for heat and so the UH8 is also calling for heat um, so that's why the boiler's in heat mode. And if we scroll down a bit more we get to heating 3, again this is heating and this is the underfloor heating in the kitchen so this was pre-existing in the original part of the building. And then we come down to our zones. We've just got to let the device catch up because we're a little bit further away from the boiler. Okay, so by default, these are called zone one, zone two, zone three, but you can rename these. Um, so you can see that I've renamed these using the basic user settings on this VRC 700, so zone one is radiators. You see it's been activated. And here we can change this, so the VRC 700 is like the master controller for this heating loop, but we can change that to any other of the wireless controllers that we've got. We've, if you remember from the other video, we've got a VR91 room thermostat. So we've got that as an option as well or we can have them without any sort of controller. So I'm just gonna select the VRC700 for that. Scroll down a bit further. Again, just let it update. We've got the kitchen. So this is the underfloor heating loop in the kitchen and you can see there's the VR91, which we're using as a room thermostat to either call for heat or not if it's been satisfied. There we go, missed out zone two. Zone two is the extension. So this is all the underfloor heating in the extension which for which we're using uh, the heat miser stuff to control that. And you see here zone assignment without. So we've not got any of the controllers asking for heat because we are using the heat miser room stats for that and the UH8 wiring center. So that's doing the calling for heat. So if we just scroll up to the radiators so that is heating heating one so let's just go back up to heating one you see at the moment status is off because all of those thermostats are satisfied so if we just pick let's say landing first floor you could see 
Temperature in the room at the moment, 23.1. I'm just gonna nudge this up. Past that, and then hopefully we should see the boiler start to call for heat. And then you can see now that we've uh, just put that TRV in manual mode, just overridden the program that was there before, you can see that that circuit is now calling for heat. What we can also do with the app is, um, as well as being able to adjust the temperature on the VR91 unit in the kitchen, you can also do this via the app as well. And again, that will call directly from the app. So that's just a little quick overview of some of the programming that you can do with the VRC700.